Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you guys my at-home workout equipment that I use all the time. I have 10 pieces of equipment. This is all my equipment that I use at home and I'm gonna go through and show you guys how I use each and every one of them. The beautiful thing about the equipment I'm about to show you is that it's all super inexpensive and takes up virtually no space. They're great to add into your workout routine and I got quite a variety here so you could pretty much work out every single part of your body. This video would be really perfect for those who are looking to maybe add some variation to their workouts. If you're a stay at home mom and you wanna still you know, keep in shape and work out but you can't really leave the house or go to the gym. Or for those who are wanting to work out but don't know where to start, this is a good place for beginners. And let's not forget, it's also for those who, like myself, don't wanna leave the house when it's like below zero, okay? So without further ado, Let's get into this. Okay, so the first piece of equipment I'm gonna show you guys is my prized possession right here. It's just a small little workout ball and I use this um, for my ab workout. Can't work out with machines at the gym because they always pull my lower back. I have a very weak lower back and I'm trying to work on that. Yeah, so if you guys have a bad lower back and you really are limited with the ab workouts you can do because you'll tug on your stuff back here um try a small workout ball because i literally this is this is the only way i can actually do abs properly it's, it's nice it's just right under your back nice and small here and it's awesome for range of motion so yeah i just a couple of weeks Woo. oh So very similar to the one I just showed you, but this one's obviously like 10 times its size. This is a yoga ball. You can get this anywhere as well. This, although you can use it for the same thing, using it for abs and your range of motion, this is really good for stabilization. And I like to do push-ups with this. So another really great workout, guys. This is gonna work your your abs, your legs, your arms, you name it. It's leg raises. So right now, all of this is on fire. The third piece of equipment I'm gonna show you guys is the kettlebell. This one's 15 pounds, come in different weights. This is my favorite. I love doing kettlebell swings, man, because you will feel it right here and in your arms. In this workout and pretty much every workout, you should always be keeping your abs nice and tight because you don't want to pull that lower back, especially for someone like me. I'll be bedridden for a month. Ooh. These swings. The motion with these really help with your glutes, your quads, and I really do feel it in my lower back. Little arm swings, oh, girl, you gonna feel it right here. Yep. Oh yeah. You can pretty much get this anywhere. I actually got this one from TJ Maxx. Next up, whoo, this is from the brand Everlast. And I honestly don't remember where I got it because I've had this for years. But it's like a thigh master. I don't know if that's the right term because I think thigh master is a brand in itself, but you know what I mean. It works out your thighs. And guys, this is so good. If y'all, yo, if you're trying to just chill and watch a movie, hold this between your legs and just keep it there. You'll feel that burn. I used to get so sore from that. I'd just be watching Netflix while doing it. Nice resistance on the inner thighs. And guys, um, I usually do more weight <laughs> than this. I do heavier weight at the gym, so it's pretty easy for me to do this, but to make it a challenge, and like I said before, to make your inner thighs burn, you just hold it there as long as you can. This, this piece of equipment, the one at the gym that works your inner thighs, I don't know where I'd be without it, because that's where I tend to carry a lot of my weight. Right in those, right in the, the thighs, I don't know. It's right here, it's just where everything just, just wants to compile in that zone. Okay, next piece of equipment. My hair's probably a hot mess. Um, ab roller. This ab roller, let me tell you, 
This is like a whole, whole body workout. I'm not gonna lie, because I don't have that good of balance, I usually just keep my knees down. I can't, I can't flank it or else I'm gonna topple over. Squeaky. Next piece of equipment, oh my God, are the dumbbells. Regular dumbbells, guys. I have one in 10, 15, and I have one in 20 pounds, which is this one, and I use the 20 pounds the most. One of my favorite workouts with a 20 pound dumbbell is working out my triceps. I also really, really love and swear by side raises. Just tighten your lower abdominal right here. I feel right in my obliques. Also taking it into both hands and doing a sumo squat. This one, man, I don't even know. I have not become resistant to this because I'll always get sore from this, no matter how long I've been doing it. The upper part of my abs. You definitely want to do those with a nice rhythmic motion, but you don't want to do it too fast. Kind of take your time with it because you don't want to pinch your muscles or move at a quick pace. It's going to throw your back out. Okay, you did not think I was going to leave out glutes, did you? My ankle weights are the best thing I've ever invested in, period. They're five pounds each. Very inexpensive. This is Gold's Gym. I pretty much, I think I got these at Walmart too. So obviously, guys, ankle weights, they are great for donkey kicks, hydrants, you name it. The next thing I like to use, guys, is workout resistance bands. Yeah, resistance bands are perfect. You can do a bunch of calisthenics with it, but I do like to use them for leg raises. Oh my goodness, because I feel it right here. Next piece of equipment, guys, is an over-the-door trainer, and this is perfect for upper body and back. This one's from Gold's Gym. You scrap up these sides, and you could honestly do like push-ups. Go in your oh like this and it works out right here and I don't know about you but I get I collect a lot of chub right here so when I'm wearing a bikini or something in the summer it's just like so this will work right out you can also go straight up tighten your abs and it's also an ab workout. <laughs> and then my favorite is doing the back. Last but not least, last piece of workout equipment that I use, that I like, that I love. It's a pull-up bar that you hang over your door, and at first, when I first got it, I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna break, my whole door is gonna come apart, but it doesn't. Tried and tested, and I like it because it does come with different grips. So, you got one right here, and you got the side grips um, to work out different parts of your back and your arms. Guys, I'm really bad with pull-ups. I have the weakest upper body, <laughs> but I'm gonna try. Okay, kind of do you know lift your lift your legs up and work your lower abs. Woo! That was good. Well, guys, that was it. Those were my 10 at home pieces of equipment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that it inspired you in some way. I will try to find some of these 
online and have it linked down below so you guys could take a closer look. So if you guys have any questions or use some of this equipment for yourself, then comment down below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.